Good evening, I'm meteorologist Kat Campbell in the WRAL Severe Weather Center. Few showers and storms are possible as we head into the overnight hours. We're going with about a 40% chance and we're watching both storms in Virginia that have struggled to get here. More concerned with those storms in South Carolina that could push in overnight. Either way, we're not expecting severe weather. It would just be some rumbles of thunder and pockets of rain overnight and perhaps some fog as well. Lows are in the mid to upper 60s. This is why we could still see some rain. We've got the swirl in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That's low pressure hanging out nearby. And there are those storms in South Carolina. We'll watch to see if they push into the area overnight. Models are showing that potential. Even some of the rain lingering for the morning commute on Thursday. The best chance for rain on Thursday will come during the afternoon, but similar to Wednesday, it's just more scattered in nature. But as that swirl begins to move offshore, that low pressure system moves on out of here on Friday, we will see rain chances start to go down. It's a 20% chance for rain, so not entirely dry Friday, but it looks better. Saturday looks like a pretty dry day for us, too, but we've got changes to Sunday. We'll get there in a minute. Your school day planner in the morning will still have a chance of a lingering shower or storm. 68 degrees at the bus stop in the morning. Lunchtime, 77, just a small storm chance, and then a better chance of some of those scattered storms as the kids are heading home. Either way, not everybody's going to see rain tomorrow. It's very scattered. It's a 40% chance that you'd actually see it at your house. Friday, that chance drops to 20%. Saturday looks nice and dry, but Sunday we bumped up rain chances. So we did alter your weekend forecast after looking at some of the new data. It's a bit warmer highs in the low to mid 80s. And of course, that rain chance on Sunday this would be from a backdoor cold front. What that means, typically fronts move in from the west. This would push in from the north and east potentially, and that could bring some scattered showers. Not a lot of moisture to work with, though, so stay tuned for updates. And we're turning warmer ahead of the front. Looks like we'll be in the low 80s or near 80 instead of the upper 70s on Sunday. Sunday is the first day of fall. We get a little dip in temperatures behind that system on Monday, 78 degrees, but it's looking less likely that we'll enjoy those comfortable 50 degrees lows. Summer lovers, I know, loving those warmer lows in the 60s over the next seven days. A lot of 80s on our seven-day forecast and a drier start early next week, but there are signs that could change by the end of next week.